It's going to be the Barrow going up against Werribee. Werribee coming off a big win against the Bull Ants. Port Melbourne lost to Coburg after the Burgers came back from 36 points down last week. As the ball is tossed up and then in the ruck for Werribee. And Pavlidis, good mark on the centre wing. Still dry, can't get clear. Trying to work his way through was riding. And a whistle. It's going to be a free kick plucked out. We will go to that player, I think, in Jack Riding. Jack Riding steps inside the 50. Chance at the first of the day. Oh, it's there, no problem. And now they're starting to get a bit of reward here. The Werribee side. Be back. Short kick style over the top. Well, Cingarello dropped really what he should have taken. Now he's in all sorts of trouble. Off the footy up. Good tackling pressure again from Werribee. It's going to be holding the footy. You'd expect nothing less from this Werribee side. Ball to the back, though. Gahan just trying to clear the area. Into the path here of Billy Gowers. Going to tap it forward. Work here gets Cooper White. Has to get around oh. him. Sees one. Can't see the second. And he was in trouble. Good teamwork there from Werribee. He's just going to be... Gonna say, forced to kick it long down the line, but he pulls the kick in at the last second. And Jack Henderson takes the mark, and they've given away a 50 meter Signorello. A little bit, but nonetheless, Henderson will line up. He celebrated his 100th game last week, got a goal in that contest. We got a good view of this one straight through the middle. Werribee finally get one back after Port Melbourne giving away a 50 meter penalty. Going around the body, whistles everywhere. Is there a free kick? Was he dumped yeah. after he kicked? He was. So downfield, oh. it's going to be and 50 meters, it looks like. Wheels are falling off. Riding's kick is a goal. Bang on target and making them pay two 50 meter penalties, two goals in a minute for the Bees. Off to Andrew, uh, sorry, Johnson, who was arguably best on ground last week. Haven't had too much output from him. In towards Garoni, lovely bit of forward craft there. Immediately going to strike back. So Garoni looking for his second. No dramas whatsoever. And just like that, Werribee take the lead by a single point. The ball gets to ground. Bice around the body. High ball. Oh, Garoni again. Superb. So let's see. Goal number three beckons. Hudson Garoni. The kick is good. Superb. Wonderful. It's all the adjectives. It's three for Garoni. A couple games earlier in the season on the trot to the Giants and then Williamstown. Since then, they have been perfect. That's gone in towards Garoni. Has a leap. He takes the mark. And what a quarter he is having. Looking for his 40th goal on the season. Garoni directly in front here for Werribee. He's just squeezed it in. And what a start here in the second half for the Tigers. They've just been told to wheel and go. That's exactly what he does with the centering ball inside. And a fantastic grab from Flynn Young at full stretch. In around 14 disposals. The kick comes in. The goal umpire just watches that one sail over his head. And Werribee continue to push away here at ETU. Way gets it down to Brew. Familiar combination. Ball heading up towards Garoni. Dalhouse there as well. Lone hand still dry up. Will click. And that's going to be turned over. Riley by a strong mark from him. Conway for company. Ball to come straight back in. Young. Handball over the chop. Here's a chance for Hicks. The kick going towards the pocket. Garoni! Spilled the mark once again, did Malawal. Werribee would create the turnover, sending it inside forward 50, and Garoni's done it again. Are there little bits of hail in this rain? <laughs> Just by the way. I think there is. It certainly <laughs> sounds that way. Garoni will turn around. He doesn't make the same mistake again. He snaps it through for his fifth. Wonderful performance here from Garoni. Uh, he just finds the time and space in close quarters. Johnson, one grab, not the second. Riding, high ball. It's travelling to the line. It's there. It was shepherded through. It's a goal. Riding's got his third. And this is the Werribee that we've come to know over the last couple of seasons. 
managed to do this quite well. Have Werribee in, back inside forward 50 oh. and a courageous mark. Had to stand under it a long time. And Dalhouse. And Avalon Airport Oval. Yeah, one of the non marks of the year earlier in this game. Yep. So Dalhouse directly in front to put Werribee out above 30 points. He gets his first. And we finally get a goal here in this final quarter. In the room, fair enough, too. Vice. Clark. Siren. Big win for Werribee. And they remain on top of the Smithies VFL ladder. And tough conditions for both sides. That is officially the end of Port Melbourne's uh, finals yes. tilt, if it wasn't already. But 11-10-76 to 7-7-49.